everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, Steven Scoots. Alright, really quick. From the title and the thumbnail of this video, you exactly know what I'm talking about. And I'm going to explain to you what I know of the situation. Uh, pretty much, like, all of it, except for a couple things. And I'm going to be as descriptive as possible, but I have to leave some stuff out because it's an investigation and I uh, can't say certain things. But, alright, so, uh, currently my mom is fine. She did break a bone in her right hand. I think it's the one that moves your thumb or next to your index finger. Just some bone right in here. She broke that. And besides that, she, um, she got hit pretty hard with the accident. She, like, bruised her rib. Uh, well, it feels like it's bruised, like bruising that, that, that general area that's over here because how the car hit her with such an impact, her, like her car is totaled, other cars extremely totaled. Um, it's still in, up to the insurance company if it will be drivable or not. But from the looks of it and the photos I'm about to show you, it's not drivable, like at all. That shit is like done. And for me saying that is, here are some of the photos of her car and her car is a red Nissan you're gonna see that and then the other car was a Toyota Corolla white and you're going to see I, I tried taking as many photos as I could and also my sister because like it it was just such a, a weird night and I'm gonna get into the story in one second I'm just gonna show you the photos and then I will explain the whole story from the moment what I was doing till I got the call to me getting there seeing everything and then going to the hospital and staying there for about three hours and then driving her home and all that so here are some of the photos of what happened or what the crash site looked like and I think I have like one or two videos so here you go So that's what the scene's looking like. Shut down traffic and everything, and my mom's car is like right over there. Totaled, other car totaled. Um, just zooming in as much as I can get, see. Like, I'll just do a full video, bro. Oh my god, like. What the fuck? Alright, guys, so you guys just seen that. Um, so this is what happened. I, I, I cleaned my car because I haven't cleaned it in like two, three weeks. It's super freaking dirty. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna clean my car. Clean my car, made it all look nice and everything. Uh, she asked me to clean her car, and I said another day. She's like, all right. And then she went inside, and it was about nine o'clock. So then about nine twenty, nine twenty-five, nine thirty, I left to the Craig Ranch skate park, my usual skate park I ride like all the time. So when I left over there, um, I literally got to the park. I went inside, took a right, did a whole circle around the whole entire park. My friend William was there. I shook his hand, said what's up, asked who was there. He said Pookie and Gay was there earlier and that um, they were there. And uh, sorry, just checking those customers. Um, that they were there and I was like, okay, cool. So, for me saying that, I was like, okay, cool. The moment he said that, I was like, anybody else here? And he said Axel was there, and then they left, and I was like, okay, cool. So, he was riding, doing some tricks. I literally, like, I was just about playing my music. And then my mom calls me. It's 10 10 04, exact, when she called me. And I'm guessing the crash happened anywhere between, she said 9.55. So, anywhere from 9.55 to 10 p.m., that's the, in that five minutes, that's the crash where I... Okay, my apologies, I had a couple customers come in and uh, look around, but, so, 9.55 to 10 o'clock, that's when the crash happened, and then I got a call at 10.04, I was like, okay, because I know my mom works at 10, because she works at Graveyard Shift, I was like, okay, cool, thought she was going to call me about, like, something about the animals, or feed them, or take care of some of what she needed, I was like, it's like, what's up, mom? 
And she was like, Steven, I'm in an accident. I was like, what? Honestly, I don't, I don't get calls that people are in accidents. I just, I don't get calls like that. So it kind of freaked me out because I was in an accident when I was little with her and now I have a car and I actually drive and I'm old enough and I understand it and she calls me. I was like, what? Accident? I'm like, what, what are you talking about? Are you okay? And she immediately said she was like, she was on Blue Diamond and uh, Ford Apache. I'm just trying to think, you guys, sorry. Um, I was like, no way. Because that's like literally like by my by like by where I live, so it's like you're freaking joking me. She's like, no. I was like, you need me to drive the car home. It's like drivable, and I I don't think she like realized like looking at the car that it's like really that messed up. It's really that messed up. It was like fucked up really bad. And I thought I was like, oh, if it's like a little bit, oh, I could drive it home. That's no biggie. No. Nah. She was like, I, I need to go to the hospital, I need to get checked out. I was like, okay, the cops are paramedics come yet? And she's like, no. I was like, okay. So I didn't even know what happened. I didn't know anything about what's getting hit, nothing. I was not even, I was in North Vegas. And this has happened on my side of town. Literally by my house. I was like, like, I literally just got there. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, okay, I'm on my way. So William knows there's something wrong because the way he gave me, I'm playing with the thing. Uh, the way he looked at me when I... I, when my mom was like talking on the phone with me, the way I looked, it was like nuts. Cause he looked at me like, uh, something's wrong. Like something's really freaking wrong. And then I dipped out the skate park so freaking fast. So I was there for like a minute. <laughs> so I drove like 30 minutes there, stayed there for a minute and drove all the way back. So there was like no me driving, don't do this, but this was an emergency call, so didn't care if I got a ticket for speeding. Um, I was dipping. Like, there was no such thing as me like going slow. There was no such thing as me stopping. There's no screw all that. Like, my mom was an accident. I don't even know if she's like good. If, if she's horribly hurt, I don't even know. So I'm like, I got to dip over there quick as fuck. So, and sorry, I'm very vulgar right now because. I started dipping, literally. The moment I got out, you can hear my tires screech, and I'm just like dipping. Uh, the, the fastest I was going was like 125, 130. The slowest I went was about 65, dude. I was hauling ass on the freeway. Every every person that was like I was next to, they seen I was like a jackass because I was driving so erratic, so freaking fast. I mean, I know you're not supposed to do that, but it's an emergency situation that I'm like really not freaking used to. And, you know, I I just, I had to get there. So, that's, you know, it's understandable. It's like if your loved one got an accident, you wouldn't go very fucking slow going there. No, you would fucking haul ass there as quick as possible, not even caring. So that's what I did. Ow. I tried to put my butt up. And I started, I just, like, I just dipped so quick. Why did that car, weird ass car stop me? That's weird. Okay, so yeah, I was dipping through the freeway, in and out cars, super freaking quick, and I someone was, I don't know, one or two cars were trying to follow me, and I didn't let them follow me, because I was, I was just on my way going too fast, and they were just trying to do what they're doing, driving, but I was getting super quick. So I called my sister, I, her, she didn't answer her phone, so I was like, damn it, where does she work? Because I know she was working. I was like, damn, what's, what's, what's the name of the restaurant? So I was like, damn it. I can't say a restaurant. That's confidential information. But I was like, okay, she works here. I was like, damn, what's the restaurant though? I was like, oh, oh. I was like, I remembered it, but I don't have the number, so I have to Google it. And I called, and this lady picks up. Her like coworker. She's like, hi, this is something, something. How many help you? I'm like, okay, I'm Amy's brother. This is an emergency situation. My emergency family situation, something like that. I said. And I need to speak to her immediately. And she's like, you're breaking up. And I told her the exact same thing again. She's like, okay, I'll put you on hold. Give me one moment. And she goes back there and talks to my sister. My sister told me that she went back there and she was like, um, Amy, your brother's on the phone. And it's family emergency. 
and you know how you know it's a family emergency because I don't call her freaking workplace. And she already took out her phone. She's seen. I called twice, and then she was like, "Okay, that's weird," because she thought I got into an accident or I got pulled over or some some stupid. But no. And she gives me the phone. She's like, "Yeah." And I was like, "Mom got into an accident on Blue Diamond," and then she like flipped. She's like, "You're fucking lying to me." I was like, "Nope." Nope, not one bit, because I don't call you on, I don't call you on your work phone. So, she, like, left work immediately, and I was like, I'm already on the freeway, I'm already dipping there hella fast, um, I, I was like, fuck, I was, like, getting there, and this car wasn't, like, moving out of the way, so I high-beamed them a couple times, and, like, I swerved out of their way to get through the inner, the, not the intersection, but through these cars, and I did. And I was like, oh my. Because I already see two paramedics, two highway, and a fire truck in my mom's car. And I said, no! It's like, oh my lord. No. It was so, like the angle when I was turning, oh my god. It was so fucking bad. And I got out, and I was like walking super freaking quick. And I was like, okay, where's she at? Because I know a paramedic left okay someone's in that i don't know if that's my mom or not and then she was actually in a in a big ass rubik's cube on wheels paramedic truck thing ambulance whatever it's called and i seen her hair so i was like it's my mom so i like i dip right over there and i was like okay is she okay what happened so he was saying that the car was coming and she was trying to turn and the car like hit her and like spun out and hit her back so the bumper came off and in that white car, as you guys already seen, you can see all airbags deployed. The whole car is fucked up. The the freaking the front of it went into the engine. Like that's all completely done for. In her car, it she like hit her hella hard. So I thought she was coming on Blue Diamond, and Blue Diamond, it's like it's a mini highway because highways are sixty five. That one's fifty five. And, you know, if you want to, you can go way faster than if you wanted to. And so she starts telling me that, well, she was in there, but the guy was telling me that. And then later on, I asked her, and this is what she told me. Because some highway guy came in, and she asked at the wrong timing questions, and she just took medicine and stuff. So it's like, well, she didn't just take medicine. She was just about to take medicine, and she just got done with the scanning and cat scan and everything so it's not really the best time to ask questions but you know they came and asked questions anyways and um uh, i need to get to the store where the hell am i going with this yeah so yeah she was turning and the moment because we have blinking yellows or i think other states have that too i don't know i don't drive out states that much and the light was green. So I'm guessing the light coming where she, the other lady was coming was red. And she was turning and she didn't, she seen the car was coming fast. So she was like froze. She didn't know what to do. And she was saying she was going faster, but I was like, I have driven your car a year prior to this. Like I have so many memories with that red freaking Nissan. I'm bringing all my friends around, driving with it, all that stuff. I'm like, it's not like a sports car. I, I know a little bit about cars, tiny bit, not like mechanical stuff like that, but and I know I know a little bit about cars, because I like cars. So I was like, you're, you're just nothing of a hybrid. It's not no fucking sports car. It doesn't have no sport mode. It does not launch that fast. Like, it's not crazy to even what the hell I have. Like, my, my car's not even that, like, crazy either, but I drive it like a Hellcat. And she, like... She was saying she was going this speed. And I'm like, if you're going that speed and you turn that quick, you're going to miss that car immediately. So, she's like, I'm guessing she was going slow. Like, she stopped and the light turned green. And then she was going slow. And then the car tried running the red. But I don't get If you see a car in the middle of the intersection, fucking slow down. Don't fucking go super quick and, oh, I can make the red when there's a car in the middle of the intersection turning. You're fucking smart. There's a blinker on it, too. So, you would see a yellow flashing fucking light. You idiot. And... So she like turns and she like freezes because she didn't know what to do. Like stop or go fast or 
anything. So the car went straight into her right front tire area and smashed into that. And then her car spun. Her airbag is deployed on the right passenger in the right seat area. And then her airbag deployed. And the car hit her so hard that she flew over into the other seat of the passenger seat. And oh, it was just, it was so fucking bad. And that happened. When the airbag deployed, she couldn't breathe. And that's typical of what happened in the car accidents, I'm guessing, is when the airbag deploys, you can't breathe. So she couldn't breathe at all, which was, which was horrible. And the car spun and then, like, hit her back somehow. And um, when it hit her back, put off that bumper. It was, like, super horrible. And that day, she got her brakes changed and a free oil change. And that just went completely to shit because you don't even need to do that anymore. And she was just heading off to work too, so it was like, this is a real fucked up situation. And th that happened, and then people pulled over, and they like, how the door was to her, like, she was sitting on the passenger side. So th her door was like, her driver door was not opening well, and I heard when the officer was trying to open it, like while my sister and me there were taking photos and actually looking at the accident, that thing, you physically have to pull it super freaking hard to open it. And I got a shot real quick. And the moment you pull it, you can hear it's like against the metal of a car. And it's just like, you're just trying to, it's just, it's such a horrible sounding. And it's just like, you're just trying to fucking. And I was like, oh my. So they helped her out of the car, sat her down the curb. I don't even know what the fuck happened to the other lady it's all her fucking fault anyways because she's a dumb fuck and uh, this is just me talking so i don't even care she don't i don't even know what she thinks about her but that, that's what i think because you know if you're, you you don't run a red if you know there's a car in the middle of the intersection that's obviously one-on-one -on -one fucking driving but i think she was busy texting or some shit thinking she could run the red and i think she just fucking lost her shit and just tried being smart about it and didn't to succeed in what she was doing so um that happened helped her out to the curb and then they called the paramedics and stuff they came she was in a gurney I think that's what they call a gurney and she was already in the truck when I arrived as I just said and then she uh, I'm just trying to explain this as best as possible I'm not good at explaining stuff but I'm just trying to and I just like mix up stuff so, yeah and then I couldn't even talk to her. Yeah, I was just talking to the paramedic, and he was telling me how how it could have happened. And I walked to the car. I was like, "Oh, I was like, oh my god, this car is so fucked up. This car is so fucked." Up. I was like, "Dude, this is totaled. Like the insurance company better just total it, cause like if if they're putting some money into like like ten, fifteen thousand to fucking get a car, like no, you can just buy a fucking new one, better one. Cause that car is like that car is like all right, but like how it was, it's gonna cost quite a bit of money." to fucking fix that shit. New windshields, money to put the airbags in, uh, new bumper, wheels, axle, fucking, um, hood, engine part, like, there's just so much to go into, and that's so much fucking money. So, I mean, that's easily over $7,000. Easily. I'm already guessing, because that's just not cheap. And, um, my sister, I called her, and she was, like, she was, like, halfway there. She was, like, right there. And she fucking, she was just, she was so fucking pissed. And she came out and started taking photos, and the cop was on this, like, big-ass speaker that they have. It was, like, are you guys family members? I was, like, yeah, we're family members. He was, like, you just stay in the curb. I was, like, dude, we're just taking photos. Chill the fuck out. You guys have it covered up with this fucking, two fucking squad cars and those red things that they put down. I was like, dude, you, you you're good. You you just fill your port out. Other guy, you take your photos and inspect the vehicles, and we're gonna take our photos. I don't even care if you guys are taking photos, but we're gonna take it, and we're gonna leave, and you guys can do your shit. And then that happened. So my sister went straight to the hospital, made sure everything was cool. My mom, I went to my mom's job and just made sure the managers and everybody knew that why she's not coming in and everything. So they already knew because she got a, she was able to call her. Um. Then I was coming back, and they were trying to tow the cars out of the way, and I was, like, stuck in there for, like, about 15 minutes. So they started towing the truck, trucks. They started towing the cars out of the way to move it, and, dude, it was, like, I, here's, 
man. At the end of this video, I'm just gonna show you the part where I was like coming back from a workplace and I was like driving by and you could actually see the car. Like it's so messed up. And so um, I was coming back and I just went over there. So she didn't have a concussion. She she didn't hurt her knee, she didn't hurt her hip, she bruised her rib, she has lower back pains. It's so hard for her to walk, and she broke a bone, her ever first broken bone right on her, in her right hand. And it's just, it sucks to see a family member super hurt. And like, she looked at me while, while I'm sitting there and just like waiting with her. She's like, I want to cry, but I can't. All right. It's like I want to throw up, but I can't. It's like, it's like I don't know. She was supposed to take this medicine. She didn't take it. And then she like just put her hand over her mouth. This is gonna be disgusting. She fucking threw up. And I was like, oh shit! Like I stepped to the side before that even happened. And then the nurses came and like gave her buckets or whatever to throw up in. And <laughs> And the nurses that were helping him, the janitor, bro, <laughs> they were all about to throw up. Oh my god. I was like right there. Like, I have a decent ish, good, strong stomach. So the point came to where she needed to throw up, bro. She was throwing up, and I was just like chilling right there. And I was like, oh my. I'm gonna let her throw up. The nurses, dude, they're looking, they're like, look. And like walking away, and I was like, "Dude, you're working a hospital. You better deal with this." So they had they had fifty percent of a hundred strong stomach. They didn't throw up or anything, but it looked like they were going to. And they're like, "It smells," and I was like, "Yeah, no shit. I'm standing next to it." But um, customer thought, I don't know. And then uh, I was like, "Wow." So um, that was just something else. Like. I had the worst feeling of something was gonna happen on the 27th of July. And something did happen. It was, either, it was either I was gonna get pulled over, get a ticket for something stupid, which is usual. I was gonna get a car accident or I knew someone that I knew something bad was gonna happen. I just had a weird ass feeling. Like the feel I get this feeling when I'm like not thinking everything coming is coming way too quick for me. Like the day and just everything's moving so quick and my brain's just going with the flow. And I'm not thinking about every single thing properly as I'm, as you're supposed to be. And when that happens I just like something just happens. It's like when I got the tickets or when I got a like a like a speeding ticket back in like July. Not like speeding ticket but like for speeding, but I got it knocked down to something else. I don't, don't have a speeding ticket on my record. But when I got pulled over for it, it's because I was such in a moment of doing something that like I don't pay, like I'm not paying attention. I'm just paying attention to what I'm doing, and I'm not paying attention to anything else. So it was like it was like one of those type of moments, and it it was, it was just super weird. So I hope my mom will be okay. It's so freaking like seeing her at home, like. Dude, she's she like she could barely walk. She like she's like moving super freaking slow. I was like, that's very understandable. Like now I'm like I'm helping out even more. Cause a lot of people like they see like how I how I used to act towards how I act now, and they're like, hey, you need to take care of her. I was like, well, of course I have to. Like it's either you're taking care of your family member or you're getting kicked out of the family. There's like there's that choice, and I'm taking care of my mom because she took care of me many times, and I did stupid shit. <laughs> so I mean, I you kind of have to. I'm like, it's my responsibility. And um, it just sucks to see her like this. Like she's like in a split, like like this, or like you know, a splint thing. You know what the hell that is? And um, she's like can't move her right arm at all. You moving her left moving super freaking slow like having to sleep like straight laying down kind of up seat ish type of thing um she's just in very bad shape and i fucking pray to god she will be okay and that she can make it through this and that she'll be better but like 
it was just like it was just such a bad situation right now for this to come because like we're already dealing with so much to like for the future and this to come just like gives it a backtrack so it's like it's not even worrying about that anymore it's just like taking care of my mom right now but we were just like planning on different stuff for the future and it just got all pulled back because of this accident so um that's pretty much the story and also i was asking the officer on the top of the stoplights you know how they have cameras it's like so can you take footage down you know to the accident they're like they don't record it the only ones record that have the blue and red light on the side of it and i was like what the fuck is that for then he's like it's for traffic purposes so it's like if some lane is uh busier than the other like have it green or red i was like so if you run a red light they won't take a photo he was like no i was like cool but that's a waste of government money like cool about the traffic but he was like oh if there's a high-speed chase was, fuck the high-speed chase this was an accident get photos of this screw the high-speed chase you just chasing after someone shit do something else better fuck he said oh we could take photos off that but you can't take photos off this what the hell is that but i was just like whatever and then yeah that's pretty much what happened but i'll keep you up 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 I will keep you guys updated on everything else that happens. This video is super long. It's over 20 minutes. I already know it. And, uh, yeah. This is a real fucked up situation right now. But in the next couple days, I'll keep you updated. And um, leave a comment down below um, if you guys want me to ask my mom a small question for you guys. Or if you guys would like to talk to her through a vlog or a video and if you want to hear her set of story from personally her and how everything happened because I, per I pretty much get the whole what happened I was trying to explain it best as I can and she has a tube but she was in it so it's a little better like she was turn turning and the car just came at a super quick speed she didn't know what to do the car smacked into her and the car hit her pretty hard so she almost flew into like passenger seat area and yeah so if you guys do want me to uh, have her end the vlog and uh, have her explain it to you guys from her point of view of what happened, then um, I'll do that. Just leave a comment down below and uh, try to get that uh, ready for you guys to see. But as of right now, I'm working and... Uh, Man, I hope she feels better. Um, yeah, I'm just like here for right now, and then I'm gonna go home and see how she's doing and stuff. So she got medication. I think she's asleep for a little bit. Yeah, it's fucked up. She got like without a car, but she can't even drive anyways. Her fucking her hands screwed up. She barely walk. It's hard for her to sit down. Like there's no such thing as a car right now for her. And uh, we're gonna get that situation figured out. I'll keep you guys up. I'll keep you updated with all the info that we have right now. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much the story. If you guys do have a question on anything, um, leave a comment down below. And uh, yeah, so I will see you guys all tomorrow. And um, there might be some some like low key like family vlog. Cause I don't really include my family as much as I usually would or you know I have, like if I ever do Cause I'm always out doing like I'm always out doing something else so if you guys do want to see like family vlog orientated stuff then let me know in the comments but uh there will be some times that I might just be at home for a couple days so me saying that I'm out and I'll see you guys all tomorrow thank you all for watching thank you guys for who uh, messaged me over social media and people that who called me without even asking or anything that like just were super worried. Thank you very much. It means a lot for your support. And uh, thank you again. So I'll just see you guys all tomorrow. Peace out. Love y'all. Subscribe if you guys didn't. And uh, like the video and share it. Thanks. Deuces.